Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to teach you how to process credit card transactions in QuickBooks Online. So this tutorial will be about processing credit card transactions when you're using QuickBooks Payments, which is the built-in uh, credit card processor within QuickBooks Online. This tutorial is one of Fit Small Business's 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials. You can find all of our free tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So let's get started from our dashboard. So before we get into charging credit cards, let's remember quickly how we receive payments uh, otherwise, such as with cash and checks. So let's go to sales and invoices. Okay, and here we have Trampoline City owes us $100. Let's hit Receive Payment. Okay, and here we're going to receive the payment. We can choose a payment method. So notice we could choose like credit card, but that doesn't really do anything. That just makes a note in our records. It doesn't actually allow us to charge their credit cards. Okay, so that's just for comparison to later. Um, the other way we receive payments is by issuing sales receipts. So let's go to new sales receipt. And again, it's the same thing. So we can choose credit card. Oh, sorry, we can choose credit card. But again, there's no way to actually enter payment information. Okay, so before we can actually charge credit cards, we need to sign up for QuickBooks payments. There's, there's a number of ways to get to this sign up, but we can see right here within our sales receipt and within our invoice receive payment screen we looked at a second ago, there is a sign up for QuickBooks link, QuickBooks payments link. So I'm going to click on that and show you how to sign up for QuickBooks payments. So there's basically three sections to fill out. You've got your business info, you've got your personal info, and then you've got your payment deposits info. So this is where you want to make your deposits. So they recommend QuickBooks Cash. It's actually an account they hold themselves, kind of like as if they're the bank. Um, or you can set up a different bank account. Um, and again, this is the actual bank account you want them to make your uh, deposits into. This is also well where they will withdraw any fees. So you can actually enter the account information manually, enter the account number and the routing number. So this is where they'll deposit your money as well as take any fees out that are associated with it. So we're going to leave that. Okay, now once you enter all this information and you hit save, it's going to ask you which QuickBooks account do you want this activity shown in? So this would be then your chart of account, your account from your chart of accounts that's associated with the bank account that you just set up here. Okay, so there may be a short approval process um, um, before you can start accepting credit card payments. So there will probably be a credit check um, against you probably personally as well as your business. Okay, so after we sign up, what happens? So we want to leave the sign up process you will be amazed at how easy it is once everything's set up. So again here we can't demonstrate it because on this sample company I'm not able to uh, sign up for QuickBooks payments. So I'm going to pause the video for a second while I pull up my personal QuickBooks online account and I will show you how I can accept credit card payments. Okay so this is the sales receipt screen from within my own firm's QuickBooks Online. Um, and so here you can see things are different. I've already signed up so that I can accept credit cards. So down here it doesn't ask me to sign up because I've already signed up. Now when I want to receive a payment, instead of just credit card, it actually gives me all these different types of credit cards that I can accept. Okay, so let's say I want to that the customer wants to pay with their Visa card, so I can click Visa and then I can hit enter credit card details and I can enter their credit number, expiration date, the that three digit CVV, their name, address. Use this information and it'll record it. Then I can fill out the sales receipt as you normally would. Hit save and send and it'll charge their credit card. So the credit card, the money from the credit card transaction won't show up in your QuickBooks online account, in your bank account, until QuickBooks has processed it. So that could take a few days. Um, they'll process the money, they'll process the charge, deposit the money into your account, and 
automatically record the transaction and related fees in your QuickBooks Online. So that's why it's so beneficial to use QuickBooks Payments versus other companies. You might find other companies that are cheaper, but nothing is more convenient than QuickBooks Payments because not only does it process the credit card transaction, it automatically records the transaction and the related expenses in your QuickBooks for you. It's really, really handy. So um, all I do is hit save and send. I'm all done. Wait for the credit card money to appear in my account. That's how easy it is to process credit card payments in QuickBooks Online. I hope this was helpful. Please check, up, check out our other 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials.